Hi, Hedgies. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about why we say just manageable challenges in Pool and Cup. So one of the practices of groundedness is acceptance. We need to accept where we are in order to get to where we're going. And so bear with me as we kind of go through a few main points. Um, feel free to speed this up if you have a little bit of time today. But the, one of the main things that I learned in the practice of groundedness by Brad Stolberg is that progress in anything, whether it's large or small, requires recognizing and accepting and starting where you are right now. That means not where you think you should be, not where you want to be, it's where you literally are. So if you are in a scene and you are really struggling to have a moment where you stop saying like, ah, oh, I should be farther. Or like, ah, I wanted to be more into fun and games, or I wanted to be past the scene already. Like, what is going on? Why, like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with the story? Like, to just stop there and be like, I'm here. I'm, I'm at this scene right now, and this is what's right in front of me, and this is what I'm going to be working on. So that bit of acceptance is really, really important, okay? This does not mean, however, um, because sometimes we hear acceptance and it's like, well, like, just accept it. It doesn't mean settle, okay? It doesn't mean giving up or complacency or phoning it in or lowering your standards or committing to mediocrity, okay? We're not saying like, oh, okay, well, this scene is just going to like, this is just the way it's going to be. No, it's like, this is the way it is right now. And then I'm going to write the rest of the story. And then when I come back to it, I'm going to make it better because future me is going to seek out the resources, get the support she needs. She's going to sit and revise and she's gonna be a better writer in six months or in five months or in a year because she's done workshops and webinars and she's asked Anya and the other hedges for help. Like that person will deal with it at that time, okay? So we can't put that pressure of like, ah, oh, future me is really gonna struggle with it. No, like focus on what you have right now, right in front of you, okay? Acceptance is taking stock of the situation and seeing it clearly for what it is, whether you like it or not. Okay, this surprised me. I thought that acceptance meant you had to be at peace with it. It doesn't have to feel good. Okay, acceptance could be like, I don't like this right now, but this is where this is where we are. This is what's happening, and I'm doing the best I can. That is acceptance in a nutshell. Okay, so. What has to happen? We have to have a clear understanding of the situation. This means that we need to process it. Clear means like not being driven by our emotions, not being driven by our reaction. And sometimes if that is in line with like a traumatic response, we don't have control over that. So we need to process it first. And then later we have to get comfortable being in that situation. After that, now we can make the next wise action, okay? so. Stop resisting reality, stop wanting things to be different, except that like, yeah, I didn't write this week. I didn't do as much as I wanted to this week. That doesn't feel good. Okay, now use that feeling to drive your wise action to keep going, okay? Because if nothing changes, then nothing changes, right? So why do we say just manageable challenges? Where does this come in? Well, if you can't work on something in a meaningful, you can't work on something in a meaningful way if you are fighting it at the same time. So if you are like angry at it, if you are upset with yourself, you can't also be making progress on it. Like you're using that energy in that way instead of moving forward, okay? So we want you to always be moving forward, accept where you are. If it doesn't feel good, use that and then move on to the next, um, to the next wise action. And sometimes a lot of our grief comes from having unrealistically high expectations for ourselves. So in Quill and Cup, when we say just manageable challenge, that's like Elizabeth Gilman saying like, I wanna write 800 words every time I'm in the prickle. Like to her, that is just manageable. It pushes her just enough outside of her comfort zone, but is yet still achievable within that prickle time, okay? So think about what your just manageable challenge is. A lot of this is trial and error, right? So like one week you might say, I'm gonna get a thousand words, every day. And then at the end of the week, you're like, oh, I did not do that. That was not, that was not just manageable. That was a challenge. Okay. So we want you to keep playing around with that number, keep playing around with what you realistically can do, 
And if that means one hour per week only in a prickle, that's okay. That's more than you would have done otherwise, okay? All right, you guys, so accept where you are, even though it's really hard. And I look forward to seeing where you go beyond that, okay? So like, no more shoulds, no more I should be doing that, right? Because Brad also says, change your I should to I want, right? I should be writing right now. I want to be writing right now. Okay, well, if that's true, then let's schedule it in.